chill of us. I know. Let's Welcome kind of back, weird. guys, to Welcome Excuse My Friend. to the Wellness Podcast. Today, we're going to be meditating. Okay, that is so not <laughs> what we do, Julia. <laughs> That's why when we were both like, hello, I was like, oh, are we growing up? <laughs> no, I just like, I cannot stand our intros. Like, I'll edit this <laughs> podcast, and I'm like, why the fuck do we like... Welcome back to Excuse My Friend. Hello! I'm like, I had to back up for that. Oh, my. Yeah, it's just like, I was I t- no. was telling her, I was like, can we tone it down with the intro well, listen, a little? Well, we don't want to tone it down too much, because then we'll put people to sleep. That's very true. But I feel like we need to explain why. I feel like we come from, we used to do theater. We come from very, yeah, like, theatrical. a lot of our, lot of our TikTok the- content for years has been cater towards a younger audience and very kids bop which yeah. i'm thankful it's it got us to where we are totally and some people are so pissed that we aren't doing the bop to the top the chitty, chitty bangs, bangs and driving by and singing to strangers and yeah. i agree those were great feel good vi- i was gonna say yeah. movies feel good <laughs> movies feel good videos but that's an end of an era it's just time you know our content has evolved it's gone through ups and downs and i'm not gonna lie we've lost some followers along the way but that's because they wanted to see the drive by pranks and you know what it is what it is and that was so fun it got us through and during covid time but i feel like now we want to show like us like there's so much our friendship yeah and and who we are that I don't know. There's more to us than just driving up and acting weird with strangers. Whatever. (laughs) And I'm not gonna lie, we still do it in our spare time for fun because I need a good giggle every now and then. (laughs) We still. um, But like for now, this is what it is. So if you are here and you're a ride or die for Heartland Ray, like we so appreciate that. Yes. And um, wow, this intro is getting really like mushy. It's really (laughs) long and deep. And anyways, yeah. So like she said, we come from a very theatrical background of just like being on. And I think all. So we are so used to being on a stage singing and just like putting on that like performance Mm -hmm. that like nowadays I feel like people want the raw Mm -hmm. and like the less cringe and performance turn on that we're so not used to. Well, as soon as the camera turns on, it's like boom, boom, performance, be silly, be crazy. Yeah, it's actually crazy. We talk about this, but like the second the camera or something turns on, Uh something happens. Well, even right now I'm like... It's like weird. Yeah. But I feel like it's good to just really just be normal and be chill. But (laughs) I still think it's in our blood to be silly. It just is, which is fine, which I think that makes us different. No, I, yeah, I really feel like when we're out and we're, you know, you can read the room and know the kind of people you can be like that around. And sometimes we're around like proper people. I just like, we give each other a look like we're dying to just burst out and be weird. Like, do we Um, have to? So, like, it's okay to be weird if that's how you are. If you're like a cringe weird, like, there's nothing wrong with it. But, well, you guys know. are just on that. You're on this journey with us of trying to figure out like who we are. And we're like, learning as we go. Yeah. yeah. Are we cringe? Are we normal? Are we not? We like, can be like a mixture. I think you know? so. It's like yeah. we are so that's like something that's always bonded us too. I feel like we weirdly have the same humor. Totally. Like we're works. weirdly like odd together. <laughs> and I feel like not a lot of <laughs> people understand it. that. But I think that like that's what we really enjoy about each other. Yeah. Like. We just love the stupid, simplest <laughs> shit. Like prank calling. We just say. find it to be the oh funniest gosh. shit the, ever. The funniest thing <laughs> in the world. Like yesterday. Yeah. Why don't we talk about what we did yesterday with the Scientology? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Scientology. Oh, my God. We signed. Oh, yeah, my just gosh. Tell well, them. I have a, an ex-boyfriend I talked about in previous episodes who was just a terrible, terrible, terrible human. It's been like five years since we broke up, but that's fine. I'm over it. But we decided (laughs) to go on the Scientology religion website and put in his personal info, his first, last name, phone number, email. Um, I think I still have his his address saved. I don't know if he still lives there or not. But Alexis decided to call the Scientology Center. Oh, my God, guys. I need to put... Like, we were doing this for fun we were in a robe in my bed waiting to watch a show that we like and we're like okay what should we do and like this is honestly who we are what we do in our our spare time we do stupid little shit like Mm -hmm. this so we get so much joy yes so i call them and i literally demanded that they get in contact with him please please do this right away play the video play the video Uh, let me see if i I literally was rolling (laughs) over crying (laughs) laughing and then whenever we do prank calls i make alexis talk because i i I laugh like I, I, I break know, character I in a know, second you know. and the fact that wait, this was wait, my wait. abusive ex-boyfriend I'm like you know what you deserve to be hounded by the Scientologists and you did so good with your character I must say <laughs> here it is 
Oh, hello? <laughs> Hello, this is the Church of Scientology. Los Angeles, how can I help you? Yeah, I signed my husband up for Church of Scientology, and for some reason, you guys are not contacting him, and I need him to be contacted immediately, and he's in need of support. Oh, okay. What's the matter, ma'am? Well, he just needs to find his calling, and he just needs to find purpose, and don't make me laugh! <laughs> Shh. He needs oh, okay. to find his perp. And I was told at Church of Scientology that they really check in with people all the time. So can I please, 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 <laughs> please give you his phone number so you can contact him? Oh, okay, ma'am. Yeah, you can give me the number. His number. Go ahead. Say, hold on. Hold on two <laughs> seconds. I need my phone number. Trying book. to find the phone number. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay. Four, four, three. And he is a womanizer, and he is a liar, and he is a cheater. So can you please work on that? <laughs> okay, ma'am. And what is his name? Andrew! <laughs> Andrew. Okay. Right, I will just take note of this, and then we'll have someone contact him as soon as possible, okay? Like today, this afternoon, his behavior's out of control. Oh, okay, ma'am. Well, I appreciate you letting me know, and we will just have him contact you as soon as possible, okay? Can you relay that number one last time? <laughs> <laughs> that you have his right number, and tell it to me one last time. God damn it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. It's 443. Okay. Excuse me. You made me get cold. Do you, do you need his email address? You're welcome to give it to me, ma'am, but we just need his phone number. <laughs> like... I need you to have all his contact, <laughs> including his social media. Okay, sir. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be funny. Uh, if you just have his number and name, that's okay. Um, so then we'll just have him... Uh... Oh, my God. Anyways, it goes on. I'm like, she, she called, called me, sir. <laughs> She called me sir. I'm like, what the hell? I got her so flustered. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I don't even know how we got on this intro, but that's what we did for fun. <laughs> for fun, okay? Like, most girls are going out, like, cute restaurants and, like, shopping together. Brunch. Oh, no. Not us. Anyways. We're prank calling and adding our ex-boyfriends to the Scientology Center list. I hope you also find that to be Ooh. funny if you're listening. I, I, don't, I, I find it so funny. Sometimes you have to find the like little things that just make you smile. Totally. Laugh. You, no, just you do. really like, do. For us, it's very simple. It's very simple. When, yeah, it's just, it's ridiculous. But anyways. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Well. Anyways, how, let's, let's, let's like z zone in. Let's like focus, which we can't ever. How are you doing? Let's go back. How like are I'm you feeling? Therapy. How are you doing? Sit on my couch. Tell me yeah. your problem. I thought you were going to say sit on my lap. Sit on my lap. How are you sit doing? My, yeah. Sit on my face? Yeah. Sit on my face and tell me how you're doing. Yeah. Um, no, I don't want pink eye. So um, <laughs> ew. Right. I am doing okay. I'm still recovering from like being super embarrassed. Oh. <laughs> um, this morning while you were running errands, I, and I want to wait to tell you this uh -huh. in the pod. I, okay, let me back up. Basically, Marcel's party yeah. last weekend, um, met a guy and who's really hot, seemed successful, whatever, and I, like, put myself together, so I'm assuming he thought I was attractive. Cause can't, he, wait, can you pause? Sure. I can always tell when she is finding a guy to be hot. Let me tell you how. <clears throat> Do tell. I will try to get her attention, or I'll try to talk to her about something, or I'll be like, Julia... Julia, let's go over here. Julia, Julia, <laughs> she will completely ignore me. When she's into the guy, I've noticed that about you. What are you talking when about? When you're into a guy. Are you being when serious? He, yes. When you think a guy's hard, when you're into a guy, you do that shit. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell? But then uh, there was another guy that was talking to you, and I was like, Julia, you're like right away. Like, oh, I'm going to go with her. Me, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like second <laughs> string. I noticed that, that because that guy you're talking about, I know, like he came up. I was trying to <laughs> talk to you, and then nothing. You were kind of like this towards me. Uh-huh. Anyway, so... <laughs> Yeah, so uh, 
Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm, all I'm like, changes. Julia. And then if it's someone I'm not interested in, like, please. Yeah. Go to the so I'm like, okay. Uh, hello. Anyways, I didn't know that I did that. You, uh, maybe it's subconsciously, but I noticed that about you. I was like, that's interesting. Because, yeah. Anyways, keep going. That's hilarious. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so we were hitting it off. And like I said, I'm assuming he thought I was hot or whatever because he asked for my number and was like, let's get together, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fast forward, he, like, texted me the next day and was like, oh, it's so-and-so, like, nice meeting you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, like, nice meeting you, too, whatever. Mm -hmm. Didn't save his number, because, I don't know, just kind of, like, whatever about it. Yeah, it was a whatever. And, um, okay, so, like, fast forward, remember, I didn't save his number, okay. I also, I've been contacting, like, moving companies, because I'm trying to ship some stuff around, and so I've been, like, signing up for quotes and, like, trying to get more information on like cost and stuff. So I signed up yesterday and I filled out a thing and they said, Oh, like we'll call you and we'll do like a video chat to like see your stuff and yeah. get a feel for like what all you yeah. have. So this morning I'm like just waking up, drinking my coffee. And let me tell you, I'm not one of those cute girls that has like cute pajamas and like wakes up looking like refreshed and cute. I have like d- dirty like robe and just like my hair's on top of my head. You're I also stink. like a mean I, bear in the morning. I like don't want to be bothered. I'm just like so ratchet in the morning. I'm not a morning person. I've looked, I have no makeup, whatever. So it's the morning, I'm drinking my coffee and I'm like scrolling through TikTok and I get an incoming FaceTime call. Well, I didn't save that guy's number. So it was a random number and automatically I'm like, oh, it's a moving company. Like I need to get this taken care of ASAP. I know where this um, is going. <laughs> so I answer the oh, FaceTime Julia. thinking it's the moving company. And lo and behold, it's the douchebag from the party. The hot douchebag from the is. party. <laughs> <laughs> What you, oh my I God. was like, literally, I froze. I was like, oh my gosh. He goes, he goes, oh, that was the first thing he said. He goes, oh, hey. And I was like, oh, hi. And he goes, are you sick? <laughs> he asked, if, he he asked sick. if I was sick. And I was like, oh, I, 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 I gotta, I'm just in the middle of something. Like I just woke up. Like, let me go. I, oh I got God, so flustered. I like sick. rushed him off the phone. Oh my God. He asked if I was sick and like, he, Yeah. He's seen the true you, though, the true colors. He saw the true me, but it's funny because he saw me at the party. Like, I put myself together. Oh he God. hasn't texted me. I didn't text him. I think, oh, I don't no. think he's interested anymore. Oh, sure. Let life lesson, save people's numbers, and maybe don't answer FaceTimes if you're, like, just waking up and you look like crap. I and feel like that's a rule, though. If someone FaceTime you or calls you or texts you, you don't have their number saved, I always see it, but I let it go. I'll either text them or I'll wait for them to call me again thinking, okay, it must be important. No, I never... Or I'll Google the number. I never answer random calls or random FaceTimes, but I was expecting, like, all these moving companies to give me quotes. And, like, this is, like, time sensitive, so I'm, like, I'm, like, trying to get this taken care of. Yeah. So that's what I thought. Otherwise, that's I wouldn't hilarious. have answered Hilarious. yeah ah. and he's so like one of those like bougie douchey <laughs> judgy guys so i just he's know so he's probably judgy. like what the hell is this he look, is so look judgy. it's a whole different vibe i get it all the time when i put myself together you look different i get that a lot i don't know why you do that though you do lot. it's very weird because it's like two extremes i either like don't wear me like i don't care i like wear whatever i don't care but you look either that's way me. but no, like well, thank you but like but you know like it is weird that you get that i literally i think i would get that more than you actually because i like wear more makeup and like everything else but you do i literally yeah they're like oh you look different they're in there like, is something different like, did you like do yeah. did you get like and then i like saw like somebody i know at coachella i had met her one time at a party and i saw i was like oh my gosh hi <laughs> like how are you and she like looked at me like i had two heads and she like, <laughs> i was like julia we met at so-and-so's house she's like oh i didn't recognize you like put all dolled put together. up what did she say dolled up or put together I go first of all who says that i would never say that to someone i would uh-huh. never that's like basically uh-huh. saying you look like shit without your makeup on uh-huh. like that's pretty much what it says but you don't but i'm just well, you're saying sweet. and i'm okay with that i i'm okay i go out in public without me listen the way i let myself look in public sometimes is laughable because i literally went to cvs the other day and i thought to myself i hope they don't think that i'm like a crazy person because i had stealing like the clothes didn't match like two different like sweatpant looking things my hair like i just sometimes i just don't care and i I, that's a good and bad thing because like you know you should put yourself together because you never know 
But, you know, it's like one of two extremes. But the, anyway, I'm okay now, but I was really shooken up and embarrassed. And um, but I'm good. How are, wow. how are you Wow, now doing? you're like, oh, okay, I can breathe. I know. I'm like, should I like call him back looking decent and be like, oh my gosh, hot. But I'm just like, no, I was never even that into cares. it. So Yeah, I'm over. I mean, at that point, like... Yeah, that's a bad sign from him if he didn't call you but back. But why is he FaceTiming or me? Be First funny of all, about it. I got the one text after the party, and then FaceTimes me, and on the FaceTime, yeah, it just it was just not. Yeah, why was he FaceTiming? Like, were you guys having like a FaceTime date? Like, somebody, no. I will say some of these guys are so comfortable. Where I'm like, huh? Like, you're really yeah, gonna know. just FaceTime a random girl? Like, we need like dates. We need times. We need preparation. I need the ring light. Right. I need to, like we make need my the, space look decent. Or not even the ring light, just to like have time to open the blinds for like that natural light. Like, oh, shit. The let light. me like have a little <laughs> bit of something. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, give me a second, dude. Don't just right. like FaceTime me. I need like, my coffee. Catching me like, off guard. And then to call. That's another thing. It's not going to work out between the two of you because it seems like he probably was up. He was ready. Went to the gym. He's uppity up. Well, you're just starting to get up. So like, it's never going to work. Oh, my God. That's that's really funny that he was like ready to like go. Ready to rumble. Ready I've to never rock. had the impromptu on the spot FaceTime. That was a first. So wow. ladies, first and last. Take what you want from that. So yeah. how are you doing today? <laughs> I am doing... Uh, There's yeah. a lot. There's a lot going yeah. on. I'm just... I think... <laughs> Honestly, I am, am just like in a funk. I think you're I'm also in a funk. S- no, I'm not. I feel like a lot of these episodes, you're like, I'm in a funk. It, do I really say that a lot? I don't know. Oh shit, I hate that. I keep going. Okay, anyways, <laughs> I'm trying to be as raw as possible, puff folks. Raw and okay, because maybe someone else, maybe you listening right now, are going through the same thing. Um, I can put on a front <clears throat> and a happy face, but like deep down, like maybe I'm going through it. Anyways. I think also could be the lack of sleep that I'm... Wait, wait. I'm going to stop you right there. What? I don't mean to interrupt you, but speaking of sleep, it makes me think of breakfast. Oh, geez. And I ha- what? I'm right in the middle of being vulnerable. What? I know, I know. I kind of have beef with you. Why? I have beef. Like beef as in like beef beef? Like from a <laughs> cow? <laughs> no, I have a problem with you. What? You were eating pasta for breakfast this morning at 8 a.m., I like what I like in the morning. You were eating like dinner food for breakfast. Dinner food and is amazing for breakfast. Are you I don't, serious? Mind your own damn business. <laughs> That's what I have beef with <laughs> you involved with my beef and my, if I want to eat beef, pasta, pizza, macaroni, <laughs> carrots, lettuce, rabbit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Let me eat what I want to eat in the mornings. You do you boo <laughs> with your freaking smoothie. One piece of lettuce. Here's like a little cut up carrot. I'm full. <laughs> oh. like, how do you eat what? dinner Leah. food for breakfast? I don't understand. Like not all the time, but like no, you do. And that's why I have beef. <laughs> You have pizza for breakfast. Why does that make you so mad? You had ramen for breakfast one time. I had chicken and rice the other day. For breakfast? Yeah, it's How do you wake good. up like, I'm not a huge breakfast person, but like when I do do breakfast, I'll do like fruit or a muffin but or yeah, coffee but like, or like My breakfast or doesn't pancakes. start till like 11. Like I'm up and no, I don't eat. No, but this morning you were up at <clears throat> eight o'clock early and you were eating pasta. I mean, this is really getting bad. Why are you obsessed with what I'm eating, first of all? And I'm a little concerned that you're watching every little move that because I'm doing. Because I'm just so, like, uh, fascinated. I'm like, wow, she eats, like, dinner food for okay, breakfast. I know there's someone right now listening that eats whatever they want for breakfast that eats non-breakfast food. Breakfast food is just disgusting. It's boring. No, I agree. It's I don't love bre- breakfast food either. It's like, do you want eggs, hash browns? Sausage, waffles. No, I understand cereal. that. What do you I under- want? I understand that there's a lot of people that eat bre- or dinner food for breakfast. I just am trying to understand it because when I wake up in the morning, I feel like like my stomach hurts. I'm like grossed out. My breath is bad. Like I want to eat like fruit or like yogurt or like okay. cereal okay. or like I a don't smoothie. Know. Okay, that's or what mu- I like said. I said like you're a coffee. different human. You don't even. I don't like, like food. eggs. I don't like eggs either, or like bacon. But you also waffle. don't like food. I, like, I don't. Not I like love fruit. food. I literally oh, love you say food. fruit or food. Food. I like food. Yeah. I mean, I'm more of a foodie than you are. Like I. Oh my god. I like. I'm obsessed. No. With food. I. I love. And when we go to parties and there's f- like free food, I do love food. I just don't like cooking and grocery shopping. But anyway, just I just find that so fascinating. People that can eat 
like pasta for breakfast. Like good for you guys. I, I'm just more concerned that you're keeping tabs on what the hell I'm eating. I know I'm not keeping tabs, but when the place gets like stunken up by your like ramen it noodle, doesn't, it doesn't stinks. Wait, stinky. What? I don't know. I think it's so good. <laughs> I'm obsessed with eating, you know, things that aren't breakfast foods. Yeah. I guess in the That's morning. That's so interesting. Like yeah, it's <sighs> it's just I don't know. I'm amazed. Can I I'm move not on ba- now? I'm not like bashing Can we move it. Just, on yeah, now? Yeah, let's move on. Because now have it's very weird. <laughs> <laughs> now I know that she's like watching my every move I in the am. morning, guys. Our camera set up. Pros and cons to having a damn roommate, okay? My roommate happens to be obsessed with my eating habits <laughs> and watching everything I eat. And it's like, let me live. Live your life. I, ha- you I you am. Boo. I am. But then you're over here sitting going, I have beef with you. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell? Be- <laughs> okay. So can we go back to what I was saying? Yes, yes. Most of the time we're very silly. And we talk about men, 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 men. I get that. Yeah. But there's more to life than But there's men. more to life because you already talked about a guy on this podcast. I did. I can't go earlier. a second. Go a you damn second. You cannot go a second. I have not, truly have not been able to sleep for the last like three or four days. I maybe have gotten like an hour or two of sleep. And clearly you can hear my voice. I'm like starting to become sick because my body is just like shutting down. I think there's a few reasons. We went to this like sleepover thing this weekend we cannot mention what it is, but it was actually probably the coolest thing we've done yet in LA. We'll mention it soon. We just have to get approved. Yeah. And like, we, had to, we had to sign an like NDA until a certain yet. time. And it was un-freaking believable. Mm. It was like a dream spot for me. And anyways, I did not sleep that entire night. And my favorite part was Julia woke up and I was staring at her. And all of a sudden, Julia goes, what the hell? No, literally. <laughs> I. It was like the wee hours of the morning. And I like turned over. <laughs> And because I was like half asleep, kind of adjusting my position and I opened my eyes and she's right there staring at me. I'm like, I literally just like, what the hell? And I turned back around. I'm like, why are you staring why at me? Like, why were you like concerned? Why were you watching me sleep? I wasn't. I just heard you move and I was like looking. I was, like, <laughs> like you moving. You just like had no excuse just like, staring. I'm like, oh. Yeah, because like guys, I just like, I cannot sleep. But I also have always been that girl. Even when I was younger, I never like loved sleepovers. I was always like the one that like I would go there and be like so excited like yeah I'm gonna sleep over but then once like the parents started leaving the party or like it started to get night like one of nighttime those. I'd be so anxious like I can't do it so I'd call my mom my can gosh. you come pick me up can you I, I don't want to be friends here like you I hated it I I had to be the one to go sleep over at people's houses because a lot of my friends were like, oh, I don't want to be away from my parents. Uh, like, I didn't mind it. I liked sleepovers. Oh, really? I cannot yeah. stand sleepovers. I don't know. I just was not a sleepover girly. Yeah, no, I loved it. Like, for my birthday parties, I would have slumber parties <laughs> at home. Because, I, you know, I love staying in and being cozy, watching movies, eating snacks. Like, I love that. I would, like, I loved hosting slumber parties at my place. I loved going to slumber parties. That was, like, my highlight. Like, every weekend, I would sleep over at my mm. friend's house. But... I, the sleeping part, I agree when it's not your own bed in your own space, it's kind of weird, but yeah, I didn't I really know. mind it like in really? middle school or whatever. Oh, I just, no, I, I kind of just, just went with it. No, I hated it. I never did sleepover camps for that reason alone. There's a few that I wish I would have gone on, but I knew they were sleepover camps. I'm like, I can't do it. I'm out. I went to a singing <laughs> camp actually here in LA and I'll never forget it. I wanted to go so bad. And Vanessa, our singing coach was like, Alexa should go. Kept telling my mom, Alexa should go. And then I was in tears when I when they finally were like, why don't you want to go? And it was like, Vanessa, my mom, my my dad. And I was like, I don't want to spend the night but there. Like, wh- why? What was, were you afraid of something? No, were you I, like- like, I was never afraid. It just like, I think <laughs> it was the anxious, like the anxiety of like being separated from like my parents, maybe. I don't really know. I just it was like, I hated it. I didn't like it. So Anyways, maybe that's why I didn't get sleep while we were there because I was, it wasn't my space. It wasn't my room. I don't really know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I agree with that. The older I like get, I, I don't like sleeping in places that aren't my own space. I really don't like, I have my own routine, my own bed, my own, like, I don't, I didn't get much sleep that night either. Yeah, so it's like weird. Yeah. But like it kept, it kept happening. So like that night happened. I didn't get, I mean, literally guys, I got no sleep at all. Not one, nothing. Then the next day, did not get sleep at all. Um, and then last night, I think I got like maybe two hours, if that. Um, but I also think I just have an overthinking, overanalyzing mind. Anyone else? 
I like, mean, you always do during the like. day though I will be fine and I talked to my my therapist about this is because she's like well you, during the day you're constantly like going going and like you're distracting yourself mm-hmm. but then at night you like don't have any anything to distract you so like you're all up in your head it all just like floods yeah you know. and I'm like it's actually so true mm-hmm. and it's very annoying to me like yeah. do you overthink um, I, well, my thing is like, I'll be exhausted all day. I'll be like, Oh, I can't wait to sleep. I'm so tired. I could fall asleep right now. And then when it comes time <laughs> to actually go to sleep, I will be like wide awake and I don't have like, I don't overthink things, but my mind will just decide to think of random things that I want to Google. Like, why is the sky blue? Are aliens <laughs> real? Um, what are microwaves made out of? Like random things like that. I'm so jealous. Or my brain will like to bring up the like my most terrible memories from my childhood and my whole life. So, you know, it's it's a I'm it's so a jealous. Like, what are you like thinking about? E- in, like, like everything. So, like, okay, so I actually took a screenshot because I'm like, okay, I sometimes I can't word what I'm trying to say, but this said everything. Okay, here are the here are the things that like people like us do you second guess everything like sometimes i lay there and i do i second guess everything you take things so personally um you can think about regrets um often ask yourself what if that's a lot of my thing well what if this well what if that what if i tried harder what if i you know did this or um you criticize yourself a lot um you can't let things go and you overanalyze a lot Mm -hmm. and i think that's my thing i'm so like attuned to like other people and other situations that like Sometimes it's like too much and I overthink. It's just mm-hmm. constant. Yeah. Sometimes I'll replay like my most awkward, embarrassing encounters and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I said that. I can't believe I did that. I wish it was that. For me, it's like, does this, did I say something wrong? Does this person not like me? Why didn't they invite me? Um, oh my God, on that call, like, you know, why did that happen? Was it because of X, Y, and Z? Like, I will make up scenarios. I will literally have an entire book written about this whole situation <laughs> and five different ways to think about it and i'm like huh which way should i go that with sounds exhausting that in no, itself it's, should put you to sleep it's exhausting so and like i used to be on some medication to help that but i'm like but then it blocks your creativity so i'm like i don't know which mm. one i'd rather have you know Cause yeah it's like, no I, I i get that some nights um i am really thankful because i have no problem falling asleep i'm out i sleep through the night most of the times and i i'm a heavy hard sleeper my problem is just waking up in the morning you know, just like getting out of bed. I think I love sleeping for me. Yeah, It's like an escape from life. Like it's an escape from reality. See, to you know? me, I am like, do we have to go through this sleeping phase? Really? Oh my God. It drives me nuts. Like, okay, let, can we like get up? Can we like figure this out? Really? Can we, yeah. yeah when I, I was, just don't like the nighttime. When I was younger, I felt that way. I did not like sleeping and nighttime and going to sleep. I would always get really sad. Like that was like times when I felt sad. But nowadays, like, I I don't know. I love sleeping. I look forward to it. And, like, there's times when I wake up in the morning and I'm just like, this sounds so, like, sad. But I'm just like, I don't want to face the world. It's safe under my blankets here. Like, it just, it's it's an escape. It's an escape from, it's Uh like being dead without the commitment. And Uh that's so morbid because, like, I do, I love life. And I look forward to, like, once I'm up and have my coffee, I'm like, all right, let's go. But it's like when you're just in bed, it's like, I could just sleep and just escape a little longer. Oh, see, I'm like so the opposite. And I just... See, I, I wish. I wish I could just uh, spring up and But I'm just... I'm more high strung. I think I'm just a more high strung person. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe. Like, do you think I'm high strung? Yeah, a little bit. Tell me if you connect with any of these. I'm just curious, okay. actually. Okay. So let's go through our anxiety mind when we're like about to fall asleep for us anxiety girls. Okay. Or guys. Um, fuck, I didn't respond to that email. I need to make a dentist appointment. I feel like I'm not accomplishing anything. Did I overshare today? What if something bad happens to the people that I love? How much time do my ovaries have left? Do you connect with any of that? Um, I think the one about like the family members, because I'm so like my family, we all are spread out and live in different states. And sometimes I'm like, I hope, you know, that's like my number one. I'm like the people that I'm close to, if they're okay, I'm okay. So I'll think about that, you know, but other stuff. No, once, once I'm in bed, I am done for the day. I am checking out. That's my me time to relax. I will deal with it in the morning. And sometimes if you have those thoughts, you got to tell yourself, it can wait. I okay, can deal with it. In I the agree morning. with you, but it also drives me nuts. It, it literally, that's something like I hate when be, the, I, it's so annoying. People like I get triggered. The word triggered really just triggers me because everyone uses triggered. But I feel like people, for people who don't have anxiety or depression or anything like that, I feel like 
they always make comments like that. Well, can't you just like get over it? Or like, can it just wait? Or I like, didn't say can't you just it, stop thinking about it? Just fall asleep. No, What's the problem? No, it's listen, like, what the fuck? I'm going to keep it real. You, no, you no, don't no. have that brain. So no, why no, are you no. saying something like that? I'm going to keep it real. What? You laying there. Oh, did I send that wrong text? Oh, I need to email. Oh, I need to make a dentist Julia, appointment. But it's out no, of no, no, our you're control. Listen, listen, listen. Nothing's going to change it. You overthinking it is not going to change it. Right. But you what you're thinking it oh is God. not going to take away that stupid text. Yes. You overthinking it isn't going to make you get up and email somebody at three in the morning. 100%. You can't control it. So like you can either sit there and let it take over or you can like let it go and like take control. A back thousand of percent. And but here's thoughts. what you're not getting about the whole situation is that some people can't control that. As much as you're saying, like, why, you know, you could just re- control that. Some people don't have that control. That's, like, my totally. problem. You like, can't I'm sure sometimes it keeps, but control like, it. Why can't you just... <coughs> yeah, I, I mean, everyone's different. I don't no, know. No, I, w- know, I me, honestly would love to hear your thoughts I, about this. Yeah, I just think you need to really, like, be like... You know, when those thoughts come, like, out loud, you'll sound like a crazy person. Be like, stop. Like, I am in control. I am going to bed. I'm going to have a good night's sleep. It can wait. I can deal with this in the morning because... As much as I don't deal with this, I have. I have had those thoughts at night and I have to like work really hard and train my brain and train myself to be like, this is my like safe space. This is my quiet time. This is my like happy time. I get to rest my body. I have, I'm blessed to have a warm bed to sleep in. And this is like my self care time. All that BS can wait. I'm so jealous that you have that. Like I, it, for people listening, I'm sure there are tons of people who are just like you. I'm so jealous. Yeah, everyone has their own struggles and their own ways of dealing with that. I right. just wish I like want that for you and for everybody. Cause it's like sleeping is beautiful. I'm so happy that we have, that we can sleep because it's but like, I'm it's a time like, to like, re- like rejuvenate and rest your mind and rest your body to heal. And so but like, I also think having some sort of anxiety like I do it's also a good thing too, at least for someone like me, because when the anxiety kicks in, I work harder. Mm-hmm. I'm more in tune. I like need to like do, do, do and like and fix and like go, 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 which I actually really like. Like I'm OK with having it because I know like it kicks mm-hmm. myself into gear, if that makes sense. So yeah. I try to look at like my anxiety yeah. as like my friend. Totally. I'm like, sometimes I fucking hate you. Like get the f- out of my world. <laughs> yeah. But then I'm like, you know what? I have to like be friends with it because it's not really going anywhere. What to do when you overthink or worry too much. Let's see if anything you said's on here. One, accept and acknowledge your thoughts. Don't suppress them or push them away. Two, replace the thoughts with more realistic statements. Three, separate what you can control and what you can't control. I think you said that. Four, practice mindfulness and staying in the present. And five, schedule a specific 30-minute time slot to worry. That's interesting. I've never heard that last one. Interesting. Yeah. No, I, and again, when I've been there and I have, I've had those thoughts where my brain, I literally, and it might not be like anxious things, just random things I'll think about and I'll create <laughs> scenarios and whatever. I, for me, what helps me too is I'll just like literally like close my eyes and imagine just blank nothing. Like you have to clear your brain. How clear the all that hell out. do you do just that? Just picture you nothing. You picture nothing? Picture nothingness. I and literally can't, like I literally am trying to, to do it right now. And your brain will like, roll, like that's what helps me because if I don't picture nothingness, I'll picture random things and that's what keeps me up. Wait, I don't, wait, wait, wait. Can you back up for me? Yeah. I'm closing my eyes right now. When you close your eyes, all you see is like your eyelids, which is black there's nothing there so when you close your eyes just imagine you're in a big black dark room and there's nothing that's there. depressing you're that's just scary. in a black room and there's nothing there's no trees oh my or God. dogs no, or food that gives or anything me so much more anxiety really? no. for me that like clears my head i picture just nothing wow yeah i mean gosh to everyone take notes if that works for you maybe it'll work <laughs> for someone else i mean it also yeah. drives me nuts so when people like count to 10 count just keep counting just keep (laughs) counting or like some of the silly stuff that i've heard like on tiktok or from Mm -hmm. even from shrinks it's like that shit doesn't work i've tried counting sheep i've tried Mm. so much of that stuff and like anyways i i uh i was gonna go down the things that like that kind of work for me yeah i was gonna ask do you have like a well they're um, not yeah. Do I'll you have like you. a nighttime nighttime <clears throat> excuse me routine or ritual or like something that helps you no like calm down and get into the zone? No, of sleep? because nothing does. And I like oh well, I but take like, that back. Let me let me, okay, let me tell list you my then, list. Okay. okay. I wrote it down. <laughs> okay. One, sometimes I'll take NyQuil, which 
Sometimes that'll it's do the opposite. Even when you're no, not it's sick. awful. Yes, but it's but you know what? You wake up. You know what it does? It makes me feel like shit in the morning. But also, sometimes it'll make me more like alive and awake than it will put me to sleep. So I was doing Nyquil, and I kind of stopped doing that. My my other thing that like calms me down is cleaning. If I can clean for some reason, that really helps my anxiety. Um, scrolling through TikTok, hot showers um actually stress tea i sometimes i put a show on like next to my head uh-huh. so like i have like the noise and someone else's problems that i can focus on and then um my newest thing is like body scans or meditation on like youtube um i just like go and i'll just look for stuff like that that kind of helps you know there's some nights where i don't have like a routine and i'll just like scroll through facebook because i love reading you know like watching videos and seeing what people are up to and I'll just that'll kind of like make me doze off like once I start nodding out I'll put my phone down and go to sleep but for me I love just getting in cozy pajamas getting in bed I used to like light candles I haven't lit candles in a while but um the tea thing I love tea chamomile tea, tea mint tea I love tea and just Reading a book, too, will kind of make me doze off. I used to put on the History Channel or something really boring Mm -hmm. that will make me doze off. Like, my skincare, I love, like, when I have, like, skin stuff that makes me feel good. I feel like affirmations or prayers or, like, whatever works, I feel like saying that repetitively in your brain really helps. Whether it's, like, affirmations of, like, I'm going to have a great night's sleep. I'm going to have good dreams. Or, like, I'll pray. I'll be, like, I'm going to, you know, let me have a good night's sleep. And I pray for beautiful dreams. And I'll just, like, say that over and over. And that, like, puts me at peace in my mind and my heart. I don't think that's working because you just had a bad dream last night. (laughs) I had a bad dream last night. But nine times out of, like, that's, like, rare because we were talking about my ex that we called Scientology. He was in my dream. (laughs) But normally like saying that over and over till I doze off that's like to me because then you're like programming something beautiful in your brain before you go to sleep but um I do have a screenshot of some advice turn off all devices with a screen 45 minutes before bed I agree with this to a certain extent but like I said when I scroll it like makes me tired no same I agree but there's a science to it with the blue light it does keep you up but like it Makes me fall no, asleep. Makes so me I don't fall know, asleep more. Different. Yeah. Eat your last meal two and a half hours before bed. Yeah. I've which that. that's like you know health wise you shouldn't eat before going. I eat late. I know it's not great, but then I wake up like feeling full. But yeah, and don't eat sugar before bed because I used to like eat ice cream before bed and I was like, oh, let's party. Mm-hmm. No light should be coming in the room. Close all the curtains. I keep my place pretty dark. Mm-hmm. Warm bath, Same. warm shower. I feel like we do that. Yeah. Not together, but <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe, maybe. <Just> <laughs> Some yeah. people smoke weed before they go to bed. Like, yeah, whatever. Exactly. There's a new craze, though, on TikTok. And I don't even know what it's called. Like, I have to look it up again. But it's um, a sleep thing. People are taping their mouth shut when they go to sleep now. And I guess it's, like, helping them get a better night's sleep. It's helping them wake up refreshed. Wait, it does something to, like, make your jawline look better. Um, They're taping their yes, mouth? listen to this. I'm going to play this Oh, my God, that's you. so unhealthy. People, like, people breathe out okay, of their mouths. Listen. Julia? that you'll get way better sleep when you mouth tape and your jawline can also change. I used to never dream and now I dream so consistently because of mouth tape, but it'll help with insomnia, anxiety, depression, blood pressure, so many different things. You got a mouth tape, guys. It is true. So I don't really understand. I guess they're taping their mouth shut to encourage breathing through the nose, but like I don't know if other people experience this, but I can most of the time only breathe out of one nostril. So I do open my mouth when I sleep. I don't know. But that can't be I kind of like the mouth tape though, because then you don't get any bugs getting in your mouth when you sleep. I do think about that. I'm like, is there a spider going to crawl in my mouth when I'm sleeping? I don't know. But like, I feel like that's so dangerous. You I think so? Yeah. Like I know a lot of people, you definitely sleep with your mouth open. Cause like even at, when I was up all night, I like watched you. I'm glad you watched and you're me like, sleep. Your mouth's open, you're snoring. Yeah, the whole thing. Full like, out. Yeah, the full thing. So like, I feel like if you tape some, like God forbid you need more air. Yeah, that is scary. That's oh, some God. people are swearing I do not by recommend it. That. I, I won't be doing it, but Hell some people no. are swearing by it. Obviously, you ask your doctor or get you know do your research. So don't, don't. That's weird. Yeah. So this episode is a little bit different than what we normally talk about or do. <laughs> I kind of like it. It was like a wellness episode. That's kind of like my my jam. We're like today. We were like, let's just be as real as possible and like tell people why my voice is weird. So that's the real truth because we were gonna lie. 
<laughs> I was, I'm just kidding. I was, I was, I wanted to, I'd be like, let's just like say it's for some other reason. Cause I didn't want to be vulnerable and tell them my problems. But anyways, so that's all right. Here Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did leave a review and comment. Yeah. Show that us you some liked love. it. Yeah. Or even if you didn't like it, you can mean, you can mean, you can leave a mean <laughs> review cause we don't mind those. Um, anyway. Yeah. Thanks for being here. And, um, I think yeah, you already covered it. Subscribe, like love, follow us on all socials yeah, at Heartland Ray at excuse my friend. And we have some more guests coming up. So really excited to share those episodes. And Yay. Uh, <laughs> also, <laughs> If you like what you heard, follow us on Instagram and shoot us a message. We always respond and read all the messages. If you have a crazy story that you want to be read on the podcast, you can yes. email us, excuse my friend at gmail.com or just DM us. We'd love to hear all the stories about whatever you got going on. So with we that love you said, all. we're going to wrap it up here. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.